In January, so many of us think about getting our bodies in shape, but what about our finances? We're talking about your money. We want to get you financially fit, and these are things everyone should know. So joining us now is Ty Wiggins from the Financial Gym. Ty, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I feel like I've known you forever. We I just we just we're spoke. We're having a moment. Yeah. We're having a moment because we're both, you know, beating up on Dan, who right. is being very persnickety about his bagel. <laughs> about his bagel. <laughs> First of all, what is the Financial Gym? Thank you for asking. So the Financial Gym is a personal financial services company that takes a fitness-inspired approach to helping people manage their finances. So am I going to do burpees while I check my savings account? No. <laughs> our equipment is actually Wine and Kleenex. A wine and Kleenex? <laughs> yes. I love this. Yes, because your finances can be very emotional. We want you to feel relaxed. It's a warm, open environment. Okay, well, I like that. Yeah. Uh, you say there are five numbers Correct. that we need to adhere to Correct. with the financial gym. What are those five numbers? Great question. So if we base this off of someone making $70,000, um, we should be thinking how much would they be saving a month, right? So the first thing is... We want our clients saving anywhere between 10 and 15% of their monthly gross income. Okay. So if they're making $70,000, they should be saving $875 per month, ideally. Oof, ideally. <laughs> ideally. That sounds like a lot, but okay. Say 50%. 15%, yeah. 15. 15%. Now, if we can't get them to the full 15%, okay. which sometimes happens, yeah. will we be flexible? So if we need to start you at 5% and then work you up to 10%, it's no worries okay. because everyone's starting at a different place. That's what I would think because it's a little sticker shock when you think about all the things that you're trying <laughs> to is. save up for. Exactly, okay. exactly. Uh, what about your retirement account? So when we're thinking of retirement accounts or investment accounts, we want you to have two. On the retirement side, we're thinking about 401k, an IRA, a 403 be a Roth IRA, mm -hmm. things like that. If we're thinking about um, non-retirement investing that goes in a taxable brokerage account, yeah. we are thinking maybe you're saving for a down payment or saving for your children's college in the future. Mm -hmm. Those are the two accounts we want to think about. I like this idea of, of sort of compartmentalizing it in your head mm -hmm. because for some people it's like my goal is to send my kids to college mm -hmm. without having to take a loan or my goal right. is to buy a house one day right how does what you do at the financial gym factor into those type of goals because you say it's different for different people it is and the biggest thing that we do and the approach that we take is goals based budgeting mm -hmm. so I'm not here to tell you what you should be saving for I want to hear from you what's important to you and let's bring your spending and savings in alignment with that and to get there, what mm -hmm. happens to those of us who are living paycheck to paycheck? So unfortunately, a lot of clients, when they first come to us, are living paycheck to paycheck. So that's very, something we're very used to seeing. So we like to think of two different things. One, keeping your goals top of mind. So if I know that I'm planning a trip to Bali and I need to save for that, maybe I won't make so many meandering trips to Dwayne Reed, right? <laughs> right. Um, the bane of New York's existence. Um, but on the other side of things, we want to think about a mindset shift. And I think of three words with that. I think of no budget and frugal. Now, frugal doesn't mean cheap. Thank you okay? for setting the record straight. <laughs> frugal just means that you're being more mindful of where your money is going. Right. And budget, if you're follow, it's just a spending plan. So if you're following a nutrition plan or a fitness plan, that's going to be familiar. And then there's no. No is kind of self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. So maybe no to that many boozy brunches or no to, once again, mindlessly just swiping, just being mm -hmm. really mindful and intentional. Right. I, you know, you, you don't buy coffee. Make it at home. Bring you it, can bring do it, that. Bring in a jug, Exactly, right? exactly. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. For all that. I feel like you may be back because there is a lot. I want to go into a financial gym. I hope and, you will. <laughs> and see what that is all about. You've given us some really, really helpful tools, and I appreciate Thank you for the, the opportunity. And the insight, yes.